Number six, 2x minus 3y equals negative 14. 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. If x, y is a solution to the system of equations above, what is the value of x minus y? Again, it's another one of those where they're not asking for x and y. They want you to find them and then do something with them. In this case, subtract y from x. This is a system of equations. Systems of equations can be solved through substitution, elimination, graphing. For this one, since we don't have a calculator, I'm not going to recommend graphing this by hand. Just looking at it, my instinct, you know, just from having done this for a long time, is that um, substitution is going to be a little more work intensive and time is the essence here. So I'm going to go for elimination. Unfortunately, there isn't a really straightforward or simple way to eliminate things. And when I say elimination, we're trying to get either the X's or the Y's to cancel out when we add these two things together. So I want them to match, but be opposites. So I'd want one to be, for example, a positive 5X and the other one be a negative 5X. So they cancel out. I'm just left with Y's, one variable, and then I can solve for that one variable. In this case, again, there's no real easy way. Both my Y's are negative. Both my X's are positive. And I can't multiply 2 by something to get to 3 to make that easy to cancel out. And I can't multiply 2 by something there again to get to 3 to make those cancel out. So I'm going to have to multiply both of these. I know it's a pain, especially when the clock is ticking. But you got to do what you got to do. So I want a common factor to make it so that things can cancel out. I'm going to cancel out the x's. And 2 and 3, the lowest common multiple, I should say not factor, the lowest common multiple would be 6. And I want them to cancel out. So one needs to be a negative six and one needs to be a positive six. So on top, I'm going to multiply everything by a negative three because that's going to turn my first term into a negative six. And on the bottom, I'm going to multiply everything by two because that will make my first term a positive six and those two will cancel out. So first I'm going to go through and multiply this by everything. I'm going to write it down here. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3y is a positive 9y. And negative 3 times negative 14 is a positive 42. On the bottom, I have 2 times 3x, that's a positive 6x. 2 times negative 2y, that's a negative 4y. And 2 times negative 6 is a negative 12. Be super careful with these positives and negatives. You do not want to get this wrong because of a careless error. Those are the ones where you just want to kick yourself because you're like, oh, I knew how to do this. We don't want that to happen. So now I need to add these together. Again, as I planned, the X's cancel out. 9Y plus a negative 4Y is 5Y. And 42 plus a negative 12 is a positive 30. Since 5 times Y equals 30, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to discover that Y is equal to 6. Now that I have my y is 6, I can figure out what x is. I can use either of these two equations. I'm going to use the first one and say 2x minus 3y equals a negative 14. If y is 6, I'm going to just replace that there. So 2x minus 3 times 6 is 18 equals a negative 14. So 2x minus 18 equals negative 14. I'm going to add 18 to both sides and I get that 2x is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2 and I find that x is equal to a very sloppily written 2. Now that I know x is 2 and y is 6, I can answer their question. What is x minus y or 2 minus 6? It is negative 4 and that's my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.